Hi everybody, I have a question for you. What do these three Casio watches have in common? The first one I have is the cool calculator watch. And my son likes to wear this one a lot because he thinks it's cool to have a calculator on his wrist. Uh, the next one here is a G-Shock 5600. I like to wear this one when we go on vacation because it has a nice bright color and it, I don't know, makes me happy, I guess. And the third one I have is my Illuminator. And I wear this as a dress watch. And it looks great when you're dressed up. I mean, if you're a nerd like me, you think you look great. Maybe other people are kind of snickering. The only thing I don't like is that the strap kind of pulls on my arm hairs. But to look this cool, it's totally worth it. And I noticed recently that when I turned the light on, the display on the time is fading away. So I know it's time to replace the watch battery. So this comes back to my original question. What do these three watches have in common? They all use the same CR2016 battery. Unlike other watches with tiny button cells, they use this fatter one. And I buy them in bulk. I buy the Sony brand typically from reputable dealer because there are a lot of fake batteries out there in the market. The batteries are really easy to replace, so I wanted to show you the process. I'm going to unscrew the four screws on the back of the case with a tiny Phillips head screwdriver. And I'm gonna make sure I be really careful not to strip the head of the screws. As you can see, here's the first one. Here's the second one. And here's the third one. And you can kind of see that the case back is already lifting a little bit. There's a little spring that's inside the case back that kind of pops the case back out, which is pretty interesting. You can see it's already popping out. And I'll show you that spring in a moment here. So I got the four screws out and you see this little spring here. This little spring pushes the case back out. So anyways, I'm gonna make sure I don't lose that spring. I think even if I didn't have the spring, it would be okay, but I don't wanna lose any pieces. Now, this watch is a little bit different from other watches I've had because the movement and battery both have to be removed from the watch in order to replace the battery. And you can see on the side that there are these two buttons. You have to kind of push in towards the buttons and lift out, if that makes sense. So I'm pushing in and lifting out just a little bit and it just popped right out. To remove the battery, you need to pop this little latch and you can take a slotted screwdriver just like this one and I drop it in the hole and pop it open. Now that the latch is removed, you go to the back and there's a portion here where the battery is exposed and you just push your slotted screwdriver through and your battery will pop right out. To install the new battery, I just go in reverse. Go ahead and drop it into the slot, right? Make sure it's in all the way. And I just make sure the latch is fully closed. So to do that, I take my slotted screwdriver again and I push it in gently and it'll pop into place just like that. And now we're ready to install the movement back into the watch. Before I put everything back together, I wiped the face of the display and made sure it's dust free. And I also wiped the inside of the case actually to also make sure it's dust free. And when I put the movement back in, I put in this side first with the two buttons. And here we go. And to help it in, I'm gonna go ahead and push in these two buttons you see here. And that'll clear, clear the prongs of the buttons. And now I'm ready to screw the case back in. Oh, you see how tiny the spring is? It's really hard to get in the right place sometimes. Can't believe this happened. I lost the spring while I was trying to shoot this video. The spring goes right here into this hole. And what it does is when you put the four screws and the case back back in, um, if you ever need to replace the battery again, when you undo the screws, it pops the case back like you saw earlier in the video. So I guess next time I might have to pop it open with a tiny flathead. But anyways, the spring goes right here. 
Don't be stupid like me and lose your spring. We're gonna move on. You can see there's a small black o-ring that goes along the case back. Make sure it is placed appropriately and it looks like it's seated pretty well so I'm not even gonna touch it. I think it's fine as it is. I'm putting the case back back on. I'm just really anal so I'm making sure that the Casio lettering is consistent up and down as the front of the watch. And now I'm gonna start with the screws. Hopefully I don't lose a screw because I actually need all four screws. These guys are really tiny. So I'm gonna drop it in the hole real quick. Man, after losing that spring, now I'm really curious where it went. And now that I got my first screw started, I'm gonna go ahead and start the second screw. And here's the third screw. And here's the fourth screw. I'm really paranoid that I'm gonna lose a screw since I lost the spring, because I'm a dum-dum. But I, again, I don't think that spring is really functional, so other than to push the case back open. So I'm not too worried about it. And I'm gonna tighten these screws. Here's the fourth screw. I'm gonna go, go around and tighten one more time. And it should be somewhat water resistant with that little rubber o-ring. The watch is ready for action. I'm gonna go ahead and try the light. And you can see now that the light is displayed and it's not dimming the watch anymore. The battery replacement was successful and I'm glad you were able to join us. Thank you and we'll see you soon. Bye.